Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my third session of JBoss BPM Suite 6 tutorial. In my previous two sessions, I have shown you how to install um, JBoss BPM Suite on your local environment. And in the second session, I'll show you how to create a repository, you know, here, um, create, how to create a project, uh, create a guided rules, etc. So this is good for business analysis. This is a very good tool. Uh, but from the developer point of view, this probably won't be the way you develop your your rules uh, or you use your rules. Uh, especially later on, you want to do migration, etc. You will be prefer using something like uh, Eclipse. And this that is the we're going to focus on this session. So I'm going to show you how to create Drew project from scratch, how to configure and install the Drew runtime. And this is a very basic introduction to JBoss project. Uh, I assume you know Java, you know the basic uh, Maven stuff. So, okay, so I, I'm going to create a project, create a Maven project. I'm using, still using JBoss Developer Studio 7. Uh, you might use 8, but for this one, there's really no difference. Um, the first thing, let me close all those stuff. I already done those stuff, right? So you can install all those stuff okay so first thing first you need to configure to runtime or install the runtime and go here choose install runtime okay let me zoom in see if it's better you can see it all right so choose runtime we can here add um, so add here is the name we can give any name right juice run time run time six uh, pass this is basically install a bunch of jar files in certain places uh, so Create. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. All right. So I don't have. I want to put a runtime under here, right? So I need to create a, a directory. Say here. Make dir. So choose runtime six. All right. So now I have this directory created. After that, let's see if I can show you that. All right. So under 6.1, OK, so do runtime is here. OK, so I create that. So open. So we have that. And then we say, OK. Great. Um, that's okay. So we'll say here, do okay. So basically, we tell uh, developer studio to create to install all the jar files. There's a bunch. Of, there's a lot of jar files. It's hard to conf to you know do it manually. But this way, uh, the studio know knows how to you know copy a bunch of the files. So now we created this one with the apply 
we say okay. So what happened? You have to restart JBoss Studio in order to, for this take effect. So let's do that. Exit it. Well, what we restart? Let's see what has happened when we, you know, remember we we say um, install the Drew runtime. So let's see what happened. You see, there are so many files uh, created. This is all needed to, for the to run a Drew pro project or JBoss BRM BPM project. Uh, I, well. You might see say maybe something weird. Why you say BRMS and BPMS? Um, actually, JBoss BPM Suite Six, which include all the features of JBoss BRM Six. So that's why I'm saying this. So that you know, you really don't need to worry about JBoss BRMS. Okay. Uh, that we, with that we know that we have in we have downloaded or install copied all the jar files from um, the installation. I know that this all the really the six dot zero dot three the Red Hat um, because uh, I, there's a way you can find it out. Do do a find command here. Find this for example. Name, you can do Drew, um, for example, Drew's um, slash jar file, right? So they will show you all the jar files. Oh, of course, I should not do this here. So if you do it here, you will see it. Uh, that what I'm seeing. What the, what the did actually is just copy from here. If you look here, the Juice compiler, it when we to from the studio, studio know where where the file is, right? So he copied from here, but he removed this version. Um, little bit confusing. This version actually is pretty important for us. Anyway, so I just show you if when you. Dealing with the things, you should think about how how they did it. They didn't download from the internet. He just copied from here and rename it. Okay, and um, so once again, it's inside this true runtime here. Um, you can see true compiler, right? So compiler Java. Now it here is this guy, right? So let me see if I can zoom in, you can see it better. Right? Um, so this it, it become this guy. So he removed that all the version stuff. Okay? So it's really important when you work on those um, project, you know what you have done. Okay. Um, I have installed the the runtime. I need to restart. Okay, let's uh, now we'll start uh, JBoss Developer Studio again. I know it's be at the beginning. It's a bit it's a bit it a little a little bit tedious, uh, but it's very important for developers. You understand the system, so later on when you do troubleshooting. You know what jar file you have, what kind of environment you have. If you have watched my previous um, tutorial, you know I always show you how to find the data stuff. Uh, okay, so we have configured the. We have installed the Drew runtime, I believe. Is successful. Um, okay, so now we need to select one. Oh wow! Hopefully, I do not need to. Oh, see this is 
we need to pay attention to details. Now he asked me again. Okay. This is something. Anyway, so fortunately, it's not that complicated. So we're going to start again. Okay, so now we can provide. Okay, so now let's go back again. Um, choose yeah. All right, so we select the data, uh, the Drew runtimes, okay? So now do okay. Now we don't have to worry. Every time he will see this, but now we already, we already know we have done so. Okay, so given that, now we're ready to create a Drew project. All right, say new uh, other. Okay, so here's the Drew. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Uh, do project, do next, okay? So project name, uh, this is the first time we will say choose demo. Uh, this is the workspace, I will create that, and then we do next. For the first time, uh, I will say create hello world on everything. This is pretty cool, and I think we'll show you the basic stuff. So group ID will be, of course, say comggl.juice.demo, all right? So artifact will be juice demo. Uh, version will be 1.0, that's okay. It should be, it beginning should be lower, but this is just a demo. Uh, generic code compare, of course, this is good. Um, finish. All right, so let me zoom in, zoom out back here. So this is good. Uh, there's no error. Remember, we spent so much time uh, install the Drew runtime. If you don't do that properly, it will show you the error here, right? So here is create a few tests. And if you go here, the rules, sample rules, process. So this is a process, this uh, um decision tables, right? If you have a bunch of um, rules you put into the, let's see if Excel, Excel spreadsheet, let's see if I can zoom in. Um, yeah. So here is basically You see the condition, action, bunch of stuff. And so you can create those rules in the, in the Excel spreadsheet. So we can load it on later on, right? This, this is pretty cool, actually. Uh, you can also create a decision table. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Um, yeah, so they call the guided decision table here. So I created one. Okay, see how it looked like, right? And um, the this will be in, in the separate sheet, uh, Excel separate sheets like that. So this is the sample Drew file. Uh, if you see my previous Hello World, you probably probably understand this fairly well. So what happened, they created two, there are two 
rules here, right? The first one is hello world, say hello world. The other one is say goodbye. If you look at this, what is happening, he said the message, after he run, he said message, set status, goodbye, right? And when you're in the run time, what happened if they say message status goodbye, it will print this message. When I when I, when we do testing, you will see why this is happening. So let's test uh, the Drew test. This guy basically, let's open this. So this nothing special. This all the you know the knowledge session here. Set up message, insert message, and then fire fire the rules right. So here we fire the rules. Remember, set the message here and see what happened here. Basically, here is saying, okay, create a new message, right? With status equal to hello, and with the message equal to message, right? So we set message say, oh, oh sorry. So the we set message here is. Remember, sir, hello world, right? So this the one where the rule we're going to remember the here we create a this is like a guided rule. Uh, let's say here I create the rule, right? If you look at south here, uh, the they're very very similar. See that? So when what happened? The only difference here I put it into you know a rule flow group. So now you can correlate uh, the true file we create inside the the studio, right? The good thing about this, you can you can you can edit this, but in the in this environment here, you cannot do anything about it, right? You have to go through the editor. Um, given the, for the developers, they pro probably they don't like this way. Uh, for the business analysis, this is a good way. Uh, there is another way you can do through the, they call the domain specs of language, DSL, uh, I, I think I will create a, a tutorial on that. In that way, you can uh, people in the for the business analysts understand better. Uh, in so this tedious way to create the rules, right? Anyway, that that's not the focus main focus of this tutorial. So I just want to show you. You see, I can I can save it, and that means I can modify, right? And now in so they. Let's say do a test. It's pretty easy. So t test this rule, right? So we say uh, run as Java application. Huh. It should be very fast. Okay, here we go. So if, as I said, you see here he sent a message goodbye. That's why when when we when we fire all the rules, it print out my message. What is my message? Is here. Goodbye, crew war. Okay. See, I want to say I don't like uh, this way. This is too nasty. Goodbye, happy. Right, so now if you save it, right, let's run again. Uh, there is a shortcut, you can do that uh, here, but I, I just show you how to run it. See that? Goodbye, happy world. So you can change those rules. This, this is cool for, you know, for us if you want to write a rule very quick quick and if you understand you know those conditions right 
Okay, I think. Okay, let me run just in case. Uh, there's you can run this as well. Um, decision table. This decision table is uh basically it's a bunch of uh rules. So we can let me see if I can run that. Um, I know I can run it. So, yeah, same thing. Basically, um, if you look this, unfortunately, it's um, I I don't want to go to to spend too much time here. So basically, what you said here, we set message to uh, crew world, right? So as I said, I don't like this. I say goodbye, happy word, and then I save it. All right. So let's do this. And so let's say run again. See what happened. Uh, decision table. So run as application. Huh? It didn't take effect. Okay. But anyway, uh, given the short time, I don't want to. I don't think it's saved properly. Um, this, if you have watched my previous. A video and then you watch this it will be you know oh it's everything makes sense so we can do Java as well uh, this is a basic the I want to show you how to create project is a, it's a very basic tutorial and um, you might after doing that there's one thing I we, we might want to do is to build the, the project right um, because eventually we have to build it using Maven to build it, and uh, let's see. Okay, go to the my works. A new version, huh? Uh, remind me later. Okay, so go to workspace. So we create. Remember the project called Drew demo. Um, so. Let's do build it, right? And we will maybe clean install. Wow, failed. So many errors. So this is something which I think the JBoss Studio uh, need to improve. So what happened is basically if you look at the error, there's a there's no dependency they couldn't find a bunch of dependent uh see like that couldn't find it right so if you are a developer you should be able to figure out very quick um so what happened if you look the project here so let's see here is the pro I mean, you probably most of experienced developer will figure out this fairly soon. So what happened here? There's no dependency, right? And what we did <laughs> in we we put a Drew library here. So when we run it, uh, it know where it is, right? But when we build it in Maven, he could it wouldn't be able to compile. So we need to add here some dependency, right? So dependency, let's say, okay, dependency. So here, um, I know that during the this is just a compilation, Drew compilation. So we should be able to fairly quick to go, okay. So I know here, so what, if you look how I did it, I did a Google search. I did the say Maven repo of Jews, right? I mean,
based on that jar file, you know it's org.juice, right? So I want to know the compiler and uh, give me a bunch of compiler. So I think, as I said, it's 6.0 version. This will be good, right? So now you can call control C and then we go to go back here and we can do control V, right? So okay, dependency here. Alright, so I add this dependency here. Uh, there, there's a ma many improvement you can do. You can put this version as a variable, right? So let me if I do me give you a better okay idea what I did. So this is the one I I just added, right? So let me go back here and do save. All right. Now go back. Right, so again, install. It should fix the error. Hey, yeah, it succeed. It succeeded. And last thing I want to show you what happened. So this is a jar file, right? Here. Okay. So basically, what we have done in this tutorial, um, I have shown you the correlation between the web-based GUI and the JBoss developer studio. Uh, how to build, you know, install the, the runtime, how to run the test, and how to run the Maven project. Later on, uh, in the next tutorial, hopefully I, when I get a chance, I will show you how to deploy this uh, jar file to the real the runtime, the JBoss um, BPM suite uh, runtime. So and then we can see how to uh, check through the REST API, etc. In that way, I think we will be cover the basic stuff for the development. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Um, we will see you next time. Thank you.